አም እንዳለ አበራ ፒኤችዲ ስቱዳንት አት ዩኒቨርሲቲ ኦፍ ሚኒሶታ ዘ ታይትል ኦፍ ማይ ቶክ ኢዝ ዳይቨርሲቲ ኦፍ ፑክሲኒያ ግራሚኒ ፎርሚ ስፔሻሊቲ ሪት ሳይን ኢትዮጵያ ማኒ ፒፕል ኢንቮልቭድ ኢን ዚ ስቴዲ አስ ኢንዲኬትድ ሂር ቱ ስታርት ዊዝ ባክግራውንድ ዊት ኢዝ ኤ ሜጀር ኢን ዘ ስትራቴጂክ ክሮፕ ኢን ኢትዮጵያ ኢትዮጵያ ዘ ላርጀስት ዊት ፕሮዲዩሰር ኢን ሳብ ሳሃራን አፍሪካ this map indicates the production areas in ethiopia the national average is yield is 2.5 tons per hectare this productivity is by far lower than the world average this may be due to biotic and abiotic stress among the biotic stress with stem rust disease is a major production constraint in wheat growing areas it causes yield loss up to 100% this the best example for this is as indicated in this picture the bali and the rc epidemics in 2030 caused by race tkttf stem rust of wheat caused by puxinia graminis form especially triticai has a complex life cycle requiring two hosts to complete the, its life cycle the cereal and the grasses as primary host the alternative host barberry barberry can play a major role in pathogen variation this study was, was proposed with two objectives the first objective is to study the virulence variation and the genetic genotypic diversity of stem rust population in ethiopia the second objective is to study the role of alternative host in stem rust epidemiology and the pathogen variation in ethiopia with this i move on methodology part national field survey were conducted in the major wheat growing areas of ethiopia this map indicates the survey area in 2040 to 2050 with disease incidence more than 644 stem rust samples were collected between 2040 and 2019 with growing season race analysis were conducted at two locations saint paul minnesota at serial disease laboratory and bsl3 facility at university of minnesota in ethiopia at ambo plant protection research center race analysis were conducted using the 20 north american differential lines as indicated in the table additional resistance gene were also used to further characterize the races with this I move on the result part. The bar chart indicates the races identified in the year 2030 to 2019. In those series of years, important changes were observed in stem rust races in Ethiopia. In 2030, race TTKSK was, which is represented by gray color was predominant after 2040 race TKTTF which is represented by light blue color take over and became predominant and cover all the way to 2017 after 2017 it show up with less frequency and replaced by newly identified races such as TK, KTF, TTRTF, TTTF races. Over our last 2019 survey showed that race TKTTF, which represented by yellow color, has 44% frequency. TTRTF represented by deep blue color has 26% frequency and race TTTF 
which is represented by orange color has 50% frequency. And the past predominant race ticket ETF has 11% frequency. This trend indicated that before 2030, UG99 race was dominant race in the country. And in between 2040 to 2070, ticket ETF was the pre predominant race in Ethiopia. And after 2080, new races take over. SR24 virulent race TKFTP identified was identified in 2060. This race is non UG99 race virulent on SR24. Other UG99 lineage group races such as TTKST, TTKTT, which are virulent on SR24 were also identified in 2070, 80, and 19. Those races are significant in Ethiopia because most of wheat cultivars under production possess SR24 gene. This table indicates the virulence difference between TKKTF and the TKTTF. Even though both races are virulent on SRTMEP, Race TKKTF is virulent on 7A and has partial virulence on SR1RS Amigo. We are able to, we were able to identify TKTTF that is virulent and a virulent on 1RS Amigo as indicated in this picture. Some isolates of TKKTF is virulent on this gene, and some are virulent. With this a move on Barbary survey, more than 89 sites were surveyed, and the 21 Barbary sites were identified. This map indicates the Barbary sites in the country. The red dot indicates the Barbary site and the, the presence of Barbary site. The, green light and the green dot indicates the absence. Barbary is identified in the northern part of the country, North Shaw, Wallo, and South Tigray. We couldn't able to get Barbaries in wheat belt areas of Bali and RC. The only Barbary found in Ethiopia is Barbary Holistiae. Asia where collected where infection was observed. Barbary plants were found near wheat and barley crops as indicated in this picture. Low virulent races such as BKGKC and BKBJC were identified from stem rust samples collected from wheat grown near barberies. Those two, those two races are unique and they are so virulent. This is likely a result of infection coming from spores. The collected spores were inoculated on identification series and, and to determine the form specialists. The identification series are wheat, barley, rye, and more than 18 stem rats races were identified from Asia spore sample collected from 2050 to 2019. This table indicates Asia spore derived stem rust races. Some of the races were avarulent on the 20 differential lines as indicated in red colors, the BBB races. Infection on rye and the barley were also observed. Molecular analysis were conducted on selected spore collected in 2018 to 2019 and identified as Puccinia graminea forme speciali avene. To summarize, stem rust is important disease in Ethiopia and the cause significant yield losses. 
new races TKTTF, TTRTF are widely distributed and replacing race TKTTF. SR24 valorant races have been detected in Ethiopia. Puxinia graminis complete its sexual life cycle in Ethiopia. This I would like to acknowledge Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research, EIR, and the University of Minnesota for giving me opportunity to study my PhD, the DGGW for funding my PhD. This is what I have. Thank you.